Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am filming a new location, but it's not a new location. Um, this is my house. We got the kitchen redone a while ago and I have not filmed the video in here since we redid the kitchen. So this is the whole new kitchen I'll kind of show you. It's a little, I mean it's not a mess, but this is kind of the whole new situation here. Pretty cool, we're still like getting furniture and everything set up in here. But it's been a minute since I have filmed a YouTube video and I don't know why I just struggle. I don't know why I can't stop touching my hair. I don't know why I struggle getting into like a routine with YouTube videos. I love making them. Just a lot more work goes into them. And I like, I love Instagram, like that's kind of my jam. But um, I'm gonna try. I'm not, I, I'm filming. I'm filming a YouTube video today, guys. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through my day. Today's a Monday and Mondays are like my, the one day a week where I truly have nothing to do other than like go to the gym, go food shopping, anything that I really want to do or get done. So yeah, right now I am dressed for the gym. I have, I'll show you a better angle, but I have a Lulu sports bra, Alpha uh, Amplify shorts. I have my pre-workout meal right here. Um, I didn't mix in, I do like cereal with like milk, with almond milk and a protein powder. Now, don't mind that the box is like kind of crushed because I was like starting to throw it out and I realized I wanted to show you. This is the cereal that I've been eating. I got it from Whole Foods. It's the Lovebird cinnamon cereal. Um, I love it in a very bland, clean, healthy way. I've been trying to like focus a lot on what I'm putting in my body like ingredient wise rather than just like the calorie content. So. This has a lot of like just simple ingredients, nothing crazy. I don't know a ton about ingredients yet, I'm still learning, but I've just been paying more attention to it. I've been feeling so much better. Sorry, my memory card was full, but as I was saying, I'm just trying to pay more attention to like ingredients and stuff that I'm using and that I'm eating, putting in my body, however you wanna word it. And yeah, I like this cereal a lot. It was my first time ever going to Whole Foods, I will say, and this, my only, issue with this is just ten dollars for this box and it's lasted me three meals and now it's empty so proceed with caution i like it but like for ten dollars for a little ass box of cereal sorry like i probably won't buy it again anytime soon but i'm about to go to the gym as i said that's my pre-workout meal and i also wanted to kind of quickly talk to you about what vitamins i've been taking because I've just been very much so on my vitamin game, which I haven't been in a minute. So as I'm taking them all out to take them, I figured I would kind of explain to you what I'm taking. So uh, just a disclaimer, I, I don't know a ton about vitamins either. I'll explain to you why I take the things that I take, but like don't, um, don't take, like, like take, take what I say with a grain of salt. Don't do what I'm doing just because I'm doing it. Okay? Okay. First off, um, omega-3s, also known as fish oil. Always take your fish oils. A multivitamin, for obvious reasons. I take B12. I take B12 just because I am severely deficient in vitamin B12. D3. I take turmeric for my joints. I take magnesium malate for energy and muscle recovery and I don't know again I don't know like the science behind everything or whatever but I did hear that magnesium malate is easier to digest out of all of the other forms of magnesium so it's easier like easiest on your stomach so that's another reason why I took this one and tercasterone I took tercasterone right after my show for the first time and I really liked it and then I stopped because I was told to stop until I got my period back. So now that my period, like my menstrual cycle is like normal, I decided to start taking it again and I really like it. I'm not encouraging anyone to take it or to not take it or anything, but I do take it and whether or not it's like a placebo effect or whether or not it actually works, I enjoy it and I do take it. This one is from Gorilla Mind. And one other thing that I classify as like my vitamins, which is like not, but like I just put it in this category, is creatine. I do take creatine and I do recommend that everyone take creatine 
just because it's safe and it will only benefit you. So take it if you have funds to take it. Also, I got new leg day shoes and I'm kind of obsessed with them. And like, I say like leg day shoes just because they're flat, but I think I'm gonna wear them like every day. They're from the brand Vivo Barefoot. And if you notice, like the tops of the foot are like super wide, unlike every other shoe that like comes to a point. It's supposed to make you feel like, like you're not wearing shoes, like you're barefoot. Like, so when you think about doing like your leg day, like squats and stuff, like think about spreading your toes out and like other shoes you can't in these shoes, you can, and I've really liked them. And they're kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of cute. They're a little bit pricey, they're like $160, but they're made out of recycled materials, and I think they're worth it. I like them, kind of excited about them. So yeah, I'm just gonna take all my vitamins, eat my pre-workout meal, and then head to the gym, and I will try to film everything for you guys. Uh, if you're curious as to what I'm wearing, let me adjust the camera. This is the Lululemon Long Line Energy Sports Bra, and these are the Alphalete Amplify Shorts. I don't know like color names and stuff or anything like that. I wear a six in Lulu bras and a small in Alphalete Shorts, leggings, everything. This is a bold color for me to wear today because it's day one of my period, but we're good. Let's get it done. Me repeat the 
This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Okay, everybody, I just finished my lift and my cardio. I filmed most of my lift. I didn't film all of it, and that is because I am working with my coach again, and she is doing all of my programming for me. So these lifts are made specifically for me, and I pay for them. So I'm not gonna show my full lifts like in detail because she gets paid to do that. I'm not gonna give out her work for free, not really my place. But that kind of leads me into what I wanted to talk about. And that is the fact that I am working with my coach again. She's doing my training, my nutrition, everything. So now I'm like fully in like pre-prep mode. I want to start prep in January. So it is now September and I am just, we're on our shit. We're increasing calories a little bit. I feel strong, I still feel relatively lean for 140 pounds. I weighed myself this morning, I'm 140.4. I am also on my period, so it's a little bit higher. I'm like a pound-ish up than normal. But I'm really excited to just be back in the bodybuilding headspace because I feel like for a little while in there, like my show was in November and then I feel like from November to like March, I was like super focused, nailing all my shit like crazy. And then like April to like end of July, mid July, I was like kind of balling out a little bit. Wasn't sure how I was feeling about bodybuilding. Like was just trying to like live life and not really focus on it. I was still lifting, but I was like 
changing up my lifts a little bit to make it more, I guess, like enjoyable for how I was feeling in the moment. And I wasn't really tracking my food, which I think I had a really good mental break from tracking my food because after my show, I was not normal with my food. Now I feel like I'm like the most normal. I'm not afraid to increase my calories now. And I think that break was needed for me. And that's another reason why I wanted to. My memory card keeps filling up. I have to go and delete things. I need to just stop procrastinating and go buy a new memory card. But as I was saying, I think that that mental break from like tracking and hardcore bodybuilding style lifting was like really needed for me. So now from like the end of July to now through January, I'm like full force bodybuilding again. I feel great, my lifts feel good. I feel like I'm putting on good size for a natural athlete and Honestly, the most important thing is just that I'm so excited to be doing this. I'm so excited to not go out and drink all the time and eat like an asshole. Like, it was fun while I was doing it. I don't entirely regret it, but I'm excited to not do that anymore. I had my fix. I'm like done. And I'm really excited to just put all of my energy and all my focus into bodybuilding, school, work, making content for you guys because I do fucking love it and I feel like I haven't done a lot of it recently besides on Instagram like YouTube and whatever so yeah that's kind of really where I'm at right now I'm not going to give out my specific macros and all of that but calorie wise training days I'm sitting around 2100 calories um that's my higher carb days my lower carb days are my non-training days and I'm around 19 something, but I know we're increasing. I think we might be increasing today. Mondays are my check-in days, today's a Monday. So I checked in, so I'm waiting to hear back from my coach. I'm working with the same coach that I was working with for my first prep. I love her dearly. We did really well together. So I think it just makes sense to do it like that again. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy. I think I'm just getting back to myself and just finding me and finding my peace and finding what I love and people that I love. And I think I had a really, I'm gonna say a tough year last year. It was just a lot happened. And it was my, you know, I prepped for 20 weeks. Literally the day before, the night before I started prep, my relationship ended. And I feel like I was really sad about that, obviously, at first. And then, like, after, like, three weeks, I had to, like, flip a switch. It was like, okay, we're on prep. And then I was excited because I really was, like, excited to be on prep. And, like, that was taking my focus away from what I was dealing with or not dealing with because I was focused on prep. And then prep started to get really hard. And then that was obviously hard on me. And I couldn't focus on anything else because I was dealing with how hard prep was. And then after my show you like kind of ride this high for a little while and then you realize that like, okay, your relationship with food is fucked up. I never dealt with my breakup, so now I'm kind of dealing with it. There was a death in my family, so now I'm dealing with that as well. And some other just like personal stuff that I'm not gonna get into on here. So I was dealing with a lot and doing things that were kind of out of character for me and Again, like some things that I do like regret, but also it's like I was dealing with a lot and I need to give myself some grace and forgiveness because I was dealing with a lot and that is just how I responded and that's what I needed in that moment. That's how I reacted. And now I feel like I'm calming down and I'm coming back to myself and it just feels really good. And if you're struggling with stuff like that, you need to just remind yourself, that's what I remind myself, that each day that comes along is a new opportunity to be the person that you want to be, the person that you resonate with, like your true self, because you know what, end of the day, nobody knows you the way that you know yourself. Don't let anybody tell you anything about you. You know you. You know who you are in your core. No one else can tell you who you are because you know who you are, so stay true to yourself. And I don't know why I'm getting so like preachy right now, but it's more like I'm telling you guys what I need to hear myself and saying it out loud helps. So, um, but yeah, that's really my plan going forward. I want to start prep in January and hopefully compete in the spring if everything, you know, bodybuilding is never set in stone. So I don't want to say like, this is my definite plan. This is what's going to happen, but this is my idea of the plan. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited to continue 
lifting heavy weights, eating. I'm excited to eat now, like summer's over, bikini season's over, like I'm ready to just put on a sweatshirt and sweatpants and get the fuck to work because we have a package to bring next year and it's gonna be my fucking best that I've ever brought. Even though I've only done one show, it's gonna hopefully be better. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Target because I need some Greek yogurt, but thanks for listening to uh, me talk for too long probably. All right guys, I'm back home. I'm disgusting and sweaty, so sorry for the way that I look. But I just made my post-workout meal. It is, I've been having this post-workout meal, like this exact meal for like months. Honestly, like since prep pretty much. So it's literally just 170 grams of rice, 140 grams of ground turkey, some broccoli, and like a little bit of this like lettuce salad mix bullshit. And that is about it. I'm about to eat this. I'm really not even hungry, but still gotta eat because you gotta fucking eat. And honestly, the only reason I'm not hungry is just because I am not feeling well today, but I'm still gonna eat because we have goals and we're gonna eat to hit those goals. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I know it's a little short, but my memory card keeps getting full. I need to just buy a new one and stop being a loser. But I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this just gave us a chance to like catch up a little bit, a little bit more than what you see on my Instagram. Oh, I'm throwing up, that's nice. And um, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. And like, comment, subscribe, all of that. If you liked it, if you wanna see more from me, I'm gonna try really hard to post more on here. I say that every time, so take what I say with a grain of salt. But I'm really gonna try. So I'll see you guys in the next video.